Hi everyone. So I recorded this, I am not kidding, about four times now and it, something keeps going wrong. So if I'm talking fast, it's because I am tired of recording this. <laughs> but I wanted to go through my 2020 lineup and I'm just going to go through and see um, and show you how I'm using these. And then if you have any more questions, just let me know and I can do a slower run through of any one of these. So it's going to be my main personal planner. And as I go, just know that I will be using power sheets and anything I plan in my power sheets will be transferred in the appropriate planner. So I have business, I have personal, I have wellness, I have a journal, I have, I think that's all I have, I believe so. Oh, and I have a budget one. So this is a, the two years at a glance and you can use these as trackers, honestly, if you really wanted to. Maybe not this one, but this one. Um, this one, since it's my kind of everything, I might put birthdays, events, I know of holidays, anything like that. So this is all just going to be that or even a cleaning schedule or anything. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this page yet. I most likely will do um, what I'm working on that month personally or, you know, the book I'm reading that month or anything like that. Will it be books because I, I read fast. For the month view, I'm going to put any social things, birthdays, days I need to take out the trash or days I need, you know, I want to do a whole clean of the bathroom or anything like that. That's going to go here. For my weekly ones, I'm going to be doing house to do's and errands, appointments and events. And then this one is going to do anything that has to do with my goaltending um, for my eight overarching goals that I have. So I might put what I'm reading or maybe what I learned, what thing I'm doing that month for, well, for January, for example, I'm going to be learning hand lettering. So I'm going to write that I did the video for that day or the practice for that day. Um, how I connected with Jason and how I studied for my spiritual practice. Like I will be making notes here because I won't be doing all the things every day. There's some times that may be filled up a lot if I'm doing a lot, especially probably on a Sunday when I have a lot more free time. But otherwise, I want to do at least one thing a day. So I'm going to write them down here. So this one just goes pretty much like that. The colors change throughout the year and there's one note page in the back. So that is my personal kind of a little bit of a catch-all type planner. This is my wellness planner and I'm going to be using this for for not just mental health and emotional health but it's going to also be for my physical health so it's going to have my exercises and everything. So this I might use for tracking weight or exercising or even doctor's appointments that are farther out. There's a lot of reasons I can use this for. My goals will be coming from my power sheet, so I'll put my three top goals. I have a weight goal or a miles goal, like for January I'm doing 30 miles in 30 days. So it's about a mile a day, but if I skip a day I have to walk a little bit more the next day. And then this will also help me when working on my power sheets, thinking about how I'm strengthening my mind, my body, and what I'm loving about myself. So this can be my overall plan for a workout. This could be what I'm reading or what I'm learning. And this is just like what I'm loving about myself, which is really important. And for writing an encouraging note to yourself, I kind of want to play with pretending that I am Christy from the next month writing a letter to myself. So it's a, it's a letter for my future self. That's what I kind of want to write here. This I may use for events, but also I may white it out and just continue writing. There is something here you can do every month. January is making a list of all the things that make you happy. And February is about getting out there and exploring what's around you, which I really do love. For the month view, for this one, I'm going to put my exercise planning, um, what I plan to do that day, the days that I'm going to be weighing myself, and what my weight is, pretty much anything like that. Now for this one, I did get this little extension type paper. I don't think you call it an extension, but this I like that I had the mood tracker on the habit tracker. I'm gonna be tracking my water intake for a specific amount, my meditation tracker, making sure I'm meditating, my sleep tracker for a specific amount of time to sleep. That's what I'm gonna be writing here and just logging it here. So how's your focus? Something if I wanna focus on that week. Maybe that week I have I want to really listen to a podcast from Gabby Bernstein or anything like that. Then I could come back for a weekly reflection, which ties into my journal. And 
give myself a pep talk and practice gratitude. So this one I'm probably gonna list seven and write one gratitude per day. So that's gonna go in the middle of my week, but I'm gonna move it for now. So this has intention, nourish, movement, and take note. For the intention, I'm gonna be writing an affirmation. Either I'm gonna be planning it out or I'll write it that day and say it a few times to myself when I write it, when I read it, and a few times throughout the day. And these honestly might actually stay the same for a whole week sometimes if I'm really trying to work something. For nourish, that's gonna be my food logging, not my meal planning. That's gonna be done somewhere else and I don't have a planner for that yet. I might also just get an extension little thing for it. I haven't decided. But this is I'm going to track my food. And this is going to be tracking my movement. So how many miles did I go that day? How many steps did I do? Um, if I decided to do any squats, how many squats did I do? So anytime I do exercise, it's going to be tracked here. And then this one's going to be self-care. Always bookend your days with self-care. Start with self-care and with self-care. It will keep you aligned and happy and hopefully a little calmer or a little bit more energy depending on what you need and if you feel like you need an extra one in the middle of the day do it now some people think self-care is all about having an entire day at the spa it is but it's not just that I always tell people to have a self-care menu so you can pick either big things or small things actually and to stop on that note on my monthly one I'm going to be putting planned bigger ones so if I'm doing a massage, if I'm doing a day at a spa, <laughs> if I'm going to an acupuncture or anything like that, those would be here. But I'm going to split this box in half and cover these lines here and put my starting self-care and my ending self-care. So it could be, and honestly, my self-care could be my meditation. I felt like my meditation that day was my self-care. That's completely fine. Maybe at the end of the day, it's going to be a foot massage. I give myself a foot massage. Or if you need to start smaller... The beginning could be brushing your teeth because that's what you need to do and maybe you're struggling with it and the end could be brushing your hair like it could be small it doesn't need to be big it doesn't need to be groundbreaking or shattering every now and then you should try to do that but self-care is all about taking care of yourself it's not this big type of thing that you do all the time but you should be doing something little every day I am making a course, sorry to stop here again, I am making a course about, and it's a free course, it's a five-day e-course, I'm almost done with it, I just need to record a few videos, but in there, there is a day that we stop everything for a bit, because it's about life balance, and we focus on self-care, and you'll be hearing me like talk about this often, about self-care, but to have a self-care menu, and to create that, that's all in there, so if you're interested in that, either comment below if the course is already done. When you're seeing this in the future, it most likely will be a link in the description box. So this is how this looks throughout. No one is more worthy of love and kindness. We are all people in progress. So this one's going to be my business planner. I am a life coach for women entrepreneurs. So this was perfect. Empowered women, empower women. And that's what I want to do. I want to help and power and a whole bunch of things not just that but just help women feel empowered so they can go and empower others I want that ripple effect that's what I'm looking for and I could be the person so removed from the ripple effect but I don't care I just want it to happen and know that it will happen so these are the two years at a glance and it has these illustrations throughout which I love so much um I haven't decided what I'm using this for if I decide maybe I'll put it in description but I still haven't decided what I'm using this for most likely it'll be marketing and launch planning and things like that but I'm not completely sold on that yet these goals will be coming from my power sheets and these to do's are going to be anything I need to do that month maybe I have a I'm going to be a guest on a podcast and I need to make sure that I understand the questions, um, or I'm going to be on a summit, make sure that I send something to someone, you know, anything like that. Um, what's inspiring me, I can put, you know, amazing women that inspire me to inspire others. I can put a quote from them. I can put what they're doing, anything like that. So I'm going to be using that for that. For this, I'm not sure I might use it for little event thingies here, but honestly, I 
don't really care about this box, so I may just cover that up. This random acts of kindness, I might also cover that up and use this as a different box. So for the month one, I'm going to be doing networking, events, podcast guests, any summits I'm a part of, anything like that. And I also want to put when a client starts with me and then when a client ends with me. So if I have a client that starts with me on Saturday the 4th, I'll put first session with and then initials or something. And then a few months or a year later, I'll put last session with blah, blah, blah. So if I ever need to go back, I can. I do track a lot of that on a Trello board, but I do want it on a paper as well. Because you never know what happens with technology sometimes. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use today as my plan for the day. Focus on the one thing I need to get done to feel accomplished. So for today, for example, it may be this video because I've been fighting with it. <laughs> um, but for real, it's going to be the one thing I need to do to feel accomplished that day. So it's always important to have that in so you don't feel like you've wasted an entire day. Granted, you still may feel like that in the beginning, but at least you did that one important thing. It's going to be to-do lists, so if I have other things I need to take care of, if I have any tasks I need to do, um, if I have any special follow-ups I need to do, if I need to, for example, put record video, edit video, post video, anything like that. And this blank one's going to all be for my social media. This one right here. So for today, so I won't, put, I won't write anything today for this YouTube video, but say I'm posting it on Friday the 3rd, even, even though I'm not. I'll put post 2020 lineup. That's going to be for my YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook, anything. On this one here, it says, conquering the world one checkbox at a time. So it's going to be my running list. I may start in the beginning of the week and just do a brain dump and write all the things I need to do and then move them. Not literally move them, but like put them where they're supposed to be. That's the word. For this random acts of kindness, I may change that. I haven't decided. I know I want to maybe do value given or something and do at least four times that I've given value to someone or help someone or anything like that but I'm not sold on this completely I'm still gonna work that through but that's pretty much it for this one just like the other one there's about or the other ones there are all about one note page in the back but I most likely will be adding more pages for notes because there's a lot of things I need to keep track of. Or I might just get an, another happy notes. Um, this is also the only one that I have that has metal discs. Even though they're gold, I don't really like them. So if anybody wants to trade, let me know. So this one is my budget planner, which I know is a little weird for me because I have videos about digital financial planning or uh, budgeting. And I really want to do this so I can actually feel it a little more because it's been a little bit too disconnected for me. So I want to go through this whole year and kind of track everything. So you can put your, the oh, this one is undated, by the way. You can put the budget for the month. You can put your financial goals, which most likely would be coming from my power sheets. And this is actually going to be my personal and business in here because mine are intertwined. Um... So I'll probably split this into both personal and business because my business is intertwined with my personal because I am a entrepreneur. I wanted to just give a quick example of what a personal financial goal would be versus a business financial goal. So I may have a monthly income goal for that month for my business, but for my personal, maybe I want to not shop online for the whole month or um, simply just do the challenges that this budget book does come with or any other personal goals that I may have. So there may be a difference. I also may have a goal for the month for my business to not buy any courses because I'm good and I don't need any more courses or anything like that. So that's just a little tidbit there of how those will be split. You can put unexpected spends or anything that's not like budgeted for. On the month view, I'm going to be putting my bills and I'll check off when I do them. I'll be putting when I get income. For example, if I get like any money from YouTube, I'll write the day that I got it or I signed a client and they paid their invoice just so I can visually see when money's kind of just dropping in. And then I'll also be putting every month when to transfer money to Jason because I transfer my portion of the rent to him around the 20th of the month and around the 25th of the month we pay our rent even though it's due on the first but we like being early so this is where you track your bills or anything else that you want to track here 
your savings tracker, your accounts and debts, and then every month has a little challenge. This one is try to only spend on necessities at least one week during the month, and they do change every month. Coffee at home. Skip the wait at the coffee shop and brew coffee at home. Throw it in a super cute tumbler and hit the road. That won't work for me, but it's a cute challenge. I work from home. I drink tea. <laughs> I don't even drink coffee. So I might change this to another one. Or maybe I'll just do this one again. Um, so those are really cute, though. I really do like them. And then every week, instead of a planner, you have weekly expenses. Now, for me, I have decided that if I run out, for some weird reason, if I run out of lines, then I cannot spend any more money. That's just it. Um, now I won't be using all of these all the time. Probably groceries, yes. I hope not eating out. I, I honestly only put gas probably once a month. So I'll be writing out the ones I don't need and writing in whatever. But what I love the most, well, two things. One, it makes you think if you needed it or you wanted it. Because if you end up with a month with most of wants and not much of needs, either you had a weird week <laughs> Or you may be emotionally shopping, um, so you just got to be aware of that. And then it says, where do I deserve a gold star? Right here. Is there anything I can do better next week? If you have this planner, please fill these out. Even if you don't, maybe you should be doing this. Awareness helps so many ways and helps you grow so much. So even if you're scared of this question right here, or if you're scared of both of them, do them anyway. Just write, talk, tell yourself where did I get a gold star? Maybe you got coffee one day of the week instead of, or you made coffee instead of going to buy it. Give yourself a gold star for that if that's a big thing for you. These are your wins. And then this one, be honest with yourself. What could you do better? If it's, I could meal plan so I don't eat out because I don't know what to eat, write that and then act on it. <laughs> meal plan. <laughs> So that's pretty much it for all of it. I may get the extension. There's an extension pack. No, the companion pack. I may get the companion pack. However, I do like that it has... It's not just a regular note paper in the back. It is, if I can grab it, a graph. So I can actually use this for what I wanted the companion, companion pack for, which is a savings, like, growth tracker image. <laughs> if I can talk. Oh, this is cute. It costs zero to be grateful for what you already have. Now, this one's going to be my journal. And the reason, one of the reasons I chose this one, even though it says plan a happy life, it's because to me, journaling and working on myself and being aware and trying to fix things internally helps me plan for a better life. If you bottle things up, it's, it's just not going to work that well. It, it may keep going, but it won't be as impactful as you probably could do. So this page just starts at the beginning of the month. I'm actually going to be using this as a summary for the whole month after it. So I won't be writing on this until after it. For the month pages, I will put, I'll grab the theme of the day of what I wrote about. Say if I was struggling with my weight, I'll put struggling with weight. Just so I can have like a quick view of like, is there a running theme going on? I need to fix something, then I need to fix something. The other thing I might do is if I see a prompt I really like to do, which I don't really tell people to lean on prompts, uh, but maybe there is actually a month that is all going to be prompts because you're doing a journal challenge. Or you see a prompt you really, really, really want to write about and say you're going to plan on doing it on that Sunday. You write the prompt. Or if there's a day that your brain just doesn't work and you don't know what to write about, you're really stuck, choose a prompt that day and then I'm going to come back in here and write what prompt I did. I like how all of these are the same size and, and they're lined and that's why I'm going to use them. If I ever need to write more, if there's a lot of stuff going on in my head, I have an extra notebook for that and I may add pages behind here and just put, just like put a little loop -dee, that to me telling me it's in the back. For this, I haven't decided what I want to do. Um, I may just decorate this, honestly. I may just decorate it and completely cover it. That's how that is for the rest of this one. All right. So I know a whole bunch of people saw this video. And you may be confused as to why I'm using a happy planner instead of this. I will be using this. 
but just not for planning or my work or wellness or anything like that. This is going to be because I am also trying to study astrology. And for example, oh yeah, that's me. I'm a Virgo sun. I don't think you can see that. A Leo moon and a Cancer rising, if you wanted to know. So I'm going to fill this out for my personal astrology birth chart. I want to learn about that. Uh, how to use the moon and signs and elements. Like working with the moon energy daily and all of that. So I'm going to be using it more for that. For en energy tracking. Kind of teaching myself all of this. Writing what I learned. And you already saw this whole flip through. So you're just seeing this again if you haven't. This is going to be actionable goals I have to do with that. And this is the reason. One, I want to know what all these symbols mean. I know some of them. I don't know all of them. And I don't know what they mean together. So I really want to learn that. So I may start off with learning this and then writing what I'm learning and eventually literally writing what that means. So I know what it means. This is what stopped me from using it as a normal planner. If I worked a regular 9 to 5 Monday through Friday job, this would be perfect. I would be completely content with this because when I work those jobs, I still, you know, I use my planner at work. Half of it would be for work and half of it would be on a day. Literally, I would split this in half and half of this would be my work stuff and half of this would be my personal stuff. And then Saturday and Sunday, I didn't work. So these were good sizes. Unfortunately, but fortunately, I don't work on all of these days and I do work one of these days. So currently I work Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So I would have no use for these, or little use rather, for this whole big thing. And Saturday's too small. That's the only reason, honestly. Um, I needed something a little bit more space <laughs> to do all of my planning. So I still love this. I'm going to be using this. Believe me, I'm going to mo most likely be using this either every day or every other day just to keep track and learn all of this stuff because I really do want to learn all of this. And if most likely next year, if I I do want to get this again because I, I do like it, I'm probably just going to get a half one once I do learn everything. Get another one of these, a small one, and use this as my purse planner, like a to-go planner. But... I want to learn everything in here first and then eventually I will go back down to this size because this is a pretty good size for a small purse. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this. I, if you have any other questions, post them down below. If you want to know about more how to cultivate self care or planning or anything like that, ask, ask away. I will answer anything you have. If it's something that takes a little more, to answer, I'll make a video and just just talk and let you know and give you some advice. As for plan with me's, I may not do it for the first few weeks of January because I want to see what I'm doing first and then eventually you may be seeing plan with me's in most of my planners. I would say you probably will only see pre-planning on the wellness, um, maybe not too much after the pin for that, but I might, I don't know. And pre-planning, if I do any, I don't think I will, but if I do any pre-planning for my journal, you will see that. Uh, otherwise, I probably won't show my journal. I may sh do a quick flip through just so you can see that it's all filled out, but otherwise I probably won't share that much. But that's about it. If you're seeing this before Christmas, happy Christmas. If you're seeing this around Yule time, happy Yule time. If you're seeing this around Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah. And any other things I may have missed. If you're not seeing this until New Year's, Happy New Year's, and I hope you have a great year.